What's up guys? What's up guys? I basically did YouTube videos for years without making any money. When I first started, the videos were horrible and they slowly got less and less horrible throughout the years. Even then when I was making money the first few years, it was nothing, it was scraps. You grind and you grind and you grind year after year after year after year. It definitely does hit you, but I had more reasons than just wanting to be famous or just wanting money. Anything you can fit in this mysterious circle, we'll pay for it. Thank you so much. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> We ain't never had nobody bless us like this. As selfish as it sounds, I like helping people because it just makes me happy. I like seeing their faces light up. I like seeing how excited they get. Nothing is more entertaining than just seeing someone just go from like having a rough day to just going like, what? Genuinely from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you. Aww. It's just what I love. It literally is what makes me happy. I was really shy, especially when I was younger. I, I really didn't like being around people. Just thinking about possibly being a YouTuber one day was enough to keep me happy. I wanted to use brands to allow me to help people. I was like, I think I just cracked the code. Yeah, at the end of the day, I'm just kind of selfish. Giving people money makes me happy, you know? If you had told me when I was 13 that I would give away a million dollars in a single video, I just wouldn't have even known how much money that was. I would have been like, is that more than a hundred bucks? I mean, $50 was a lot to me back then. I just from a small town, relatively small town in North Carolina, just grew up with my brother. My mom raised us. Nothing too crazy. My mom was in the military, which is why I was born in a different state than my brother. We were always moving around. I was on active duty for 21 years. And for a couple of those years, Jimmy was moved around on a couple army installations. It definitely made for an interesting child at that age. Jimmy as a child, some of my younger memories of him, um, little Legos, building Lego forts. Like the entire room is a huge Lego fort. He was intense and he was passionate about what it was that he was working on at the time. As weird as it sounds, especially when I was younger, I, I really didn't like being around people. And I have a very obsessive personality. When I like something, it just consumes my life. My first instance of that was probably baseball. I didn't want to do anything else. Good luck getting me to study for a test at that age. When he first swung that bat at 10 years old, it was nonstop. He was driven in Little League, going on to playing in Babe Ruth. He absolutely loved baseball. But my first time going on the baseball field for a Little League practice was just the most awkward thing ever. Like, I didn't know how to socialize. A funny story is I would always wear my hat like this and then like the coaches would like pull it up. I was beyond shy. Even if there was a person in front of me, like good luck getting me to talk to them. I, it's impossible. I didn't have that much social interaction. My mom wasn't home much. I watched a lot of ESPN. But outside of sports, it was just literally YouTube. That, that was all I, I watched. No one in my school liked videos, so I kind of just felt like an outcast because I just was hyper-obsessed over it, and no one else really related to me on it.